Good morning, Quadcopter101 here. What i got for you today is a little discussion on batteries and battery charging. Um, it's been windy out here the past uh, week. Also rainy, too. Uh, that's why I haven't been producing that very many videos. So, And the reason for today, i got to produce today's video indoors. But again, we're going to talk about batteries here. Now, most people, when they start flying, they, they wonder if they should be buying themselves a ba balanced charger. They're, and some people even ask, what is a balanced charger? Well, if you're starting out, you're normally flying with little single cell batteries, little 3.7 volt batteries. Uh, they're called 1S batteries. Those do not need a, a balanced charger. You don't need to buy yourself a special charger for these type of batteries. Uh, the little charger that comes with your particular quadcopter should be more than sufficient. You might hear something in the background. That's my dog playing with her chew toy. <laughs> but uh, and these little chargers that come with these normally have a little light that comes on or it goes off when you plug it in to charge it. Uh, and when the opposite occurs, that indicates it's full charge. Um, when you notice that, you should, auto you should immediately unplug that battery. Don't let it sit overnight because that can destroy the battery. Even though these chargers are supposed to stop charging once the battery is fully charged. There's always a little trickle charge going into there and if it goes over um, 4.2 volts, well that's the max charge on a single cell battery, um, it can damage the battery and you end up with swell swelled batteries. Um, if you notice that, it's probably because you've been overcharging your batteries. Uh, but let's talk about other quadcopters. When you start to get into bigger quadcopters, you're going to need more power for those quadcopters and those are usually 2S, 3S, and even 4S batteries. There's even all the way up to 6S, actually. And what they mean is, um, like a, this 2S battery has two 3.7 volt batteries in here uh, hooked up in series. That's the S in the, in the 2S. Um, when you have that, um, it's difficult to charge these properly. You don't want to overcharge any of the, either of those two cells above 4.2 volts because that would damage the cell. Um, and when these get discharged through their primary leads here, there's no guarantee that they're going to remain the same voltage. So what you need in this case with these multi-cell batteries like the 2S, 3S, and 4S and above, you need what's called a balance charger. Now what a balance charger does is monitors the voltage of each cell through these this is a balance charger plug. If you notice, there's multiple wires attached to it, so that you can actually, the charger will be monitoring the voltage through each of those cells, and actually if any get over, get higher than one of the other cells, they usually discharge that higher voltage cell to bring all cells to the same voltage before charging any further. Uh, we'll discuss that here shortly when I bring in the chargers. But I just wanted to give you the introduction to the batteries. Again, these can go this is off my XK uh, X500. This one is a four cell battery at 5400 milliamp per hour. Huge battery. But even though it's huge, you don't really need to get yourself a top of the line battery charger. Uh, you can use cheaper chargers. It's just they might take longer to charge. But let's go into chargers right now. Okay, now let's go through some of the various balance chargers that you might want to consider for these larger batteries. Um, we'll stop, start with the low end here. This is an example of a balance charger that comes stocked with your average toy or <laughs> yeah, your average quadcopter, even the toy grades, even some of the hobby grades put this kind of charger in here. It's a balance charger in name only, although, although you can charge it with the balance plug, it is not very reliable. Um, I would recommend skipping the stock chargers that come with most quadcopters. There are exceptions, I'm going to talk about one of them here shortly, but uh, the ones that are that are driven mainly by a light switch coming on and off for a multi-cell quadcopter, a light indicator telling you that you've been char that you're charged or not. I would not recommend those particular types of charger. Um, these are known as battery killers. <laughs> uh, they were mainly intended to be used uh, the first few times to verify that your quadcopter and its battery is operating properly. But with continued use, you should consider getting a proper balance charger. Now let's talk about some of the low end. Uh, Another low-end one. This is a, a BC4S15D. Um, this used to be uh, packaged with most WL Toys and XK uh, Detect quadcopters. Uh, although it is a cheap charger and it runs about twelve to fourteen dollars, including the power source, um, it is a dang good charger. Um, I use it quite a bit uh, with my lower-end uh, 
batteries, you know, are those up to about, uh, well, about uh, 2,000 milliamp per hour or 3,000 milliamp per hour. I consider using this, although this came with, actually this one came with also my XKX500, which is intended to charge this battery. I got one of these type of chargers with it. So you can, you can charge these huge batteries with this particular charger. It's just that it's going to take a long time, you know, several hours to get this battery charged where if you plugged it into a proper charger or a high power charger um, you might be able to get it charged in an hour or two you know this one may take three four hours to charge this particular battery um, but that being said it still is a darn good charger and again I use it mainly for these smaller size batteries you know these 2S and 3S batteries uh, around the 2500 milliamp per hour range and below I'll charge with this um, what I like about this particular charger is it not only does balance charging, it's very simple to do a balance charge. You simply plug in the uh, balance charger plug into the battery charger and plug the charger into the wall outlet. There's no setting up to do as you, you need to do with these other uh, higher end chargers. You have to like, sort of program these to uh, properly charge your battery. This one here is not. You just plug in the balance lead into it and plug it into the wall outlet and away you go. And uh, after a while it will tell you uh, fully charged. Now notice, this isn't plugged in and I'm seeing voltages here. So this actually also serves as a, you know, you take it with you in the field when you go flying. Uh, if you want to measure your uh, voltage on your battery after a flight or before a flight, it's very simple to do. You just plug it in and it tells you the total voltage, 7.64 volts, and the voltage of each particular cell. Right now they're both balanced at about 3.82 volts. Um, I had them uh, balanced for storage, and yeah, that's a nice voltage to use. Remember that, folks, 3.8 volt per cell is a good voltage to store your cells. Now, here's one that's been stored for quite a long time that I'm going to need to do something with because I just noticed when I plug it in, the total voltage on this 3-cell battery is 10.4 volts, and one of them is 2.6 volts. That's below 3 volts. You never want to let your battery go below those 3 volts. Now, there are ways to recondition this cell. I'm hoping to be able to get it working again. But right now, this cell, because I didn't properly store it after a flight, is gone bad. So, um, now let's talk about these higher-end uh, chargers. This is uh, an IMAX. Actually, it's probably an IMAX clone. I wouldn't guarantee it's a uh, guaranteed IMAX because of the sources I bought it from. But it's probably an IMAX clone. Uh, these are for your larger size batteries if you want to get a, a quicker charge. Remember I said this one here, maximum uh, charging amperage is about 2 amps. This one ch charges up to all the way up to 5 amps. So it provides a quicker uh, charge on the um, battery. And additionally, you know, the, one of the things that this is limited to 2 amps, not only is per the uh, um, power source, but also because this is charging through these tiny little balance plug wires, you know, they have a maximum amperage, I believe, that they can take of around 2 amps. <laughs> so that's the limiting factor on this particular charger, why it's 2 amps, minimal. Now this one here charges not only... Actually, it charges primarily through this particular lead here. Um, when you see these little plugs in here, these are, when you charge with one of these, you have to plug both, let's get an example, both the main lead, the power lead, into the battery, and also, to finish, before you even uh, consider starting the charge, you also have to plug in the uh, power lead, in, or the balance plug, into the balance charger. If you don't do that, it's going to tell you connection broken. So always remember that. That took me <laughs> months to figure out when I was a beginner that <laughs> you needed to plug both of these cables in to properly charge a balance charger battery. Uh, I'm not going to go in further into balance charging because there's a lot of sub other uh, people that have done that on YouTube already. But that's just a quick tip that new flyers tend to stumble upon when they buy one of these balance chargers. But again, I mentioned this one can go up to about 5 amps. Um, it will more rapidly charge this type of a battery than this would. You know, again, remember I say it's going to take about 3 to 4 hours to charge that with this bat charger. You know, this one here, 1 to 2 hours to charge that. And that's only limited by the 5 amps 
charging current that's max that can be provided from this. Also notice when you get these bigger ones here, sometimes they have cooling fins because these get hot. This one will get hot too, but doesn't have any um, ways of dis uh, dissipating that heat. Uh, this one does these type of chargers. Now let's go one step further. This one here, uh, the Gemini 2100. What's special about this one? Well, this one can go up to 8 amps, or actually 7 amps, I believe, uh, per battery. But, in addition to going up to 7 amps per battery, you can charge two batteries of this size with this charger. Uh, maximum wattage is 80 watts compared to the, I believe this is 50 watts? Um, 80 watts. And with that in mind, there's going to be more heat problems. And as such, this particular charger has a fan to dis dissipate that extra heat. Now, as you would expect, as you go up through each of these, expect increases in, in price. This one, I believe, was about $14 total. Very good charger. Um, but, you know, it's time limited with larger batteries. Uh, this one here is a very good charger, too. It runs around the mid-30s range. Um, recommended for these large size batteries but if you're again if all you're flying is this type this type of batteries this is more than sufficient for your needs and this one here if you are a serious racer or a serious uh, flyer who goes out in the field a lot and has a power source out in the field that you can plug this in and you want to charge more than one battery at once by all means get this one another advantage of this one is it has a uh, temperature sensor inputs in the back for monitoring the temperature of your batteries, so in case any of them get overheated during the uh, charging, um, it would alert you to that. So that's it in effect. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of different chargers and balance chargers and why you want to consider using them. So this is Quadcopter 101. Hope you enjoyed this video. Quadcopter 101, hoping to get a nice day here within the next few days so I can go flying. Signing out.